There are over a hundred of JavaScript frameworks today, but do all of them deserve more attention? We can't tell which technology will rule the software development industry five years from now, but we can assume which ones will continue to be the top JavaScript frameworks in the nearest future based on the current trends. Before watching this video, share your top JavaScript frameworks in the comments, and we'll see if you guessed our list. I'll wait here while you're writing. Done? Okay, let's move on. Top JavaScript Frameworks One, Angular. Angular offers all the necessary features, and since Google is behind it, it's easy to trust this technology. Pros of Angular include vast ecosystem, high quality code generation, and an elegant programming style. On the other hand, Angular has its cons. It requires much effort to learn, and it still undergoes many changes. Angular is useful for developing single-page applications, mobile apps, web apps, Chrome extensions, big enterprise apps, and company dashboards. 2. React Here is another top JS framework by a tech giant. Facebook released React six years ago. It is very similar to Angular. However, it surpasses the Google framework by almost all factors. Do you agree? Let's review React's pros and cons. Pros. It's very flexible, creates files of small sizes. You can combine it with other top JavaScript frameworks. Cons. In most cases, devs need to know additional tools for full coding. The difficulty of the learning curve depends on your experience and knowledge. The documentation is not optimized. React is useful for single-page applications, handling the view layer of an app, creation of reusable UI components, and large web applications. 3. Vue This framework saw the dev industry back in 2014, and with time, it has become very widespread. Vue takes pretty much the best of JS frameworks and mixes it in a single technology. Pros of Vue include small and quick ecosystem, simple code structure, ease of integration with other apps, and flexibility. Also, we examine the main cons. The set of tools is limited, most of the guides are in Chinese, and the English-speaking community is small so far. Vue is useful in building UI, single-page apps, improving existing apps, performance UI, etc., and in complex apps. We have a great comparison of Vue versus Ember versus Angular. If you are interested, Check the link in the description box. 4. Express.js While this framework remains rather minimal, it offers all the required tools devs need to create web and mobile apps. And when it comes specifically to node-based web apps, Express.js guarantees rapid development. Pros of Express.js are full control over external behavior and data access levels, fast and easy development, effortless to integrate other solutions and easy learning curve. As for the cons, you need to understand the middleware plugins, and sometimes the template code makes the process more complex. Express.js is great for off-frame development, web apps, REST API, and dynamic rendering of HTML pages. 5. Ember.js This is one of the oldest frameworks that will remain popular simply because many devs are still used to it. Ember is excellent for developing complex apps, partly because it is strictly organized. Pros of Ember.js are high scalability, support of URL-oriented development, huge community, structured and clear documentation. Cons include slowly rendering and issues with the testing process. Ember.js is great for large web-based apps, complex ecosystems, and client-side apps. Six, Mithril. This client-side framework is tiny and rapid, the demand for Mithril devs seems to grow. So even though it might not be as popular as other frameworks on this list, we expect it to be widely used in the next year. Pros of this framework. It's easy to learn, very flexible, and it offers an intelligent auto-redrawing system. On the other hand, its size is small only when zipped. It doesn't look so appealing when parsed and evaluated. Also, this framework is not too popular. Mithril is useful for single-page apps, complex user interfaces, streaming services, and pretty much any web-based app. 7. Svelte It is not too well known yet, yet it is very promising. 
Its idea is that Svelte will be the only tool developers need to create the code. This unique approach gives this framework all chances to become one of the most used technologies. Pros of Svelte are the following. No need to write code for a framework. Allows creating independent apps. Small size file. A completely new approach to the development. Short learning curve. The main cons are a small community and limited set of features. Svelte is useful for writing framework, independent apps, and creating basically any web app. Eight. Aurelia. Aurelia is built upon smaller modules. It's designed this way to provide developers with the possibility to choose either only those modules they require or leverage the framework as a whole. Aurelia has a low learning curve and universality, but on the other side, this framework has a small community. Aurelia is useful in projects that require maximum flexibility. Nine, Meteor. Finally, the last but not least, comes a famous Node.js framework. Its main pros is that it is full stack, meaning it enables you to create both backend and front end of your application. Also among Meteor's benefits, we can distinguish its ease of use and the fact that this framework speeds up the development process. But documentation could have been better. Meteor is useful for small, reactive applications. Sure, you need quite a lot of experience and expertise to choose the correct solution for your project. Jelvik's team has worked and is continually working on complex projects for top brands. That's why here at Jelvix, we can quickly determine which framework will be the best fit for a project. So don't hesitate to contact us. Just check the description box to find the links. We're always glad to come to the rescue. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our next videos.